In this video, I'm gonna share three things I have learned during 2023 about running a freelance business. I'm learning a lot from these lessons and I hope by sharing them, you'll also learn some really helpful advice for your freelance business. I'm Laura Bean and this is Creative Little World. My first big lesson of this year was not to rely on one referral stream for clients. Over the past couple of years, I have had some very strong referral streams. By this, I mean avenues in which clients are referred onto me. The problem is when you have comfortable referral streams, it can be easy to become a bit complacent about where the work is coming from. You may not feel you need to look elsewhere, you don't have to perhaps do as much marketing because you've got that consistency coming in. Now at the beginning of this year, those two referral streams pretty much dried up. Now this isn't a judgment on what they did, this is a lesson that I've had to learn. I had to re-evaluate my marketing and what I was putting out there to make sure I was getting new leads from new places. I now have a pretty robust marketing system myself and I don't rely on work coming from one place. It's been a big lesson to learn, but it has helped me adapt and grow to a wider audience. So I recommend even if you have a really comfortable source of client referrals, make sure you've got other means out there. So if you're ever in a position like me from when that regular source dries up, at least you've got other methods of getting new clients. My second big learn for 2023 is not all advice is good advice. There is a lot of advice out there and it's not all good. And even if it is good, it's not necessarily for you. You started your own freelance business for a reason and this could be to be flexible, to earn better income, to do something you have passion in. Now, when someone comes in and advises you to go a certain route, maybe suggest a new service they feel you should offer, have a think about it. Does it really align with what you want to do with your business? So earlier this year, I launched my new website for Creative Little World, filled with tools and resources for freelancers. And I have had a lot of people give me advice on what I should do with this business, what elements I should have, how I should build it. And although their intentions are good, a lot of the advice goes against what I built the business for. And for me to take that advice would be wrong. So while I fully endorse getting some advice and guidance on your business, make sure what you're receiving is right for you. Don't feel you have to do everything someone suggests. They may be a great business advisor or coach. That doesn't mean everything they say is right for you. So take some time with the ideas, put them through a thought process. Do they align with your goals, what you want for your business? Is it gonna be something that you're gonna enjoy doing because you're the one that's gonna to have to do it at the end of the day? And if the answer is no for these, then don't be afraid to put it to one side and move on to the next more suitable action to take for your business. There are too many distractions out there. This has been one of my big lessons for 2023. So our attention spans have massively declined over the years and even more so now we have things like shorts, TikTok, quick videos, quick swiping, moving on to the next thing, something shiny over there. In fact, if you've made it this far through this video, I'm impressed. Now let's go back to AI coming to our lives hard and fast at the beginning of this year. There are tools and resources for AI being released daily and I for one can not keep up with them. Communities has also become a big thing and again I am struggling to keep up with the communities I'm in let alone think about joining new ones. That's not to say that I haven't got things of value from AI or the communities I'm in, but I've also lost a lot of time on playing with new things, turning up to calls that perhaps weren't really worth the time and falling down so many rabbit holes I am nervous to think of what time and energy has been wasted this year on things like this. So it's definitely something to be mindful of when you're moving forward into next year. Do you really need to learn that new AI tool? Is it really gonna benefit your business? What tools do you have already that you could utilize and learn better rather than learning new ones? Are you joining communities and going to these calls for the right reasons? Do you get something back? It doesn't necessarily have to be clients or income it could be the support side of a community and i definitely have communities i value for this but others that perhaps are a distraction that you're not really getting anything back from 
have a think about whether it's worth the time. So there you have my three big lessons that I have learned from 2023. I for one in the new year will be taking some measures to make sure 2024 is a lot more efficient for my business. I've created content plans and marketing plans to make sure I have some consistent leads coming into my business. I'll be careful about the advice I take for my business and utilize the advice I've already had, making sure I'm implementing it rather than moving on to something else that isn't really aligned with my goals. And finally, I'm gonna be trying not to get so distracted I think this might be the hardest one this means trimming down on the calls and training that I go to and being a bit more selective on looking into new tools and making sure I only spend time on the ones that are really going to work for my business I hope this has helped give you some ideas for moving forward in 2024 if you've got any questions feel free to pop them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe because I've got some more videos like this coming out with advice on how to move your business forward next year for now I just like to wish you a very Merry Christmas and thank you for being part of my 2023.